Ta-ta! Well, here it is, Wowzer, the latest thing in high-powered travel. Looks like a rocking horse on wheels. Well... <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. This isn't just any toy horse, you know. It's what I call the new turbo horse. You've outdone yourself. This is the goofiest thing you've ever invented. To you, it's just another goofy invention, but to me, it means first place in the town you motocross. You're actually gonna ride this thing? That's right, and I'd like you to be my test driver, Wowzer. That way, at least I'll know that my turbo horse is safe before I drive it in the race. You'll enjoy it. It's just too bad we don't have a crash helmet that fits you. Uh, now, don't you chicken out on me. I got a stomachache all of a sudden. Then I guess you don't want cookies. Huh? Cookies? Yum! Well, I'm glad to see you're feeling better. And now to charge up my little turbo horse. A gallon of this super vitamin charged fruit punch should put a little extra horsepower under his saddle. There you go, Wowser. Now just kick him in the side and pull up on the reins. <laughs> <laughs> what a ride! No, no. Turbo Horse has a mind of his own. Oh, he doesn't want to go. This is a new development. Let me see here. Hmm. Well, now, everything seems to be in order, Wowser. All my Turbo Horse needs is a strong hand at the reins. Watch me now, and I'll show you how it's done. Giddy up. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were riding Turbo Horse in the motocross rally. The race starts in just half an hour, and I don't have time to fix Turbo Horse, so I'll just have to take the car. <laughs> well, at least you left me a snack. <laughs> this is the stupidest invention you ever came up with, a Turbo Horse. <laughs> 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 I'm proud to announce that today's grand prize will be an entire year's supply of cookies. Now approach the starting line and may the best driver win. Ready? I'm out of control! Set, go! There's the flag being up there, sir, ladies and gentlemen. Dust wipers on my driving goggles. Hey, what's that? Well, I see you managed to fix Turbo Horse Wowser, but if you're planning to win this race and take home that year's supply of cookies, you're going to have to beat me first. Now eat my dust, doggy. Here we go. Yeah! Cookies, what a prize. Now I just gotta win. But where's all that smoke coming from? <laughs> I can't see a thing. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> wow, this is more fun than a roller coaster. Hey, out of the way, bud! Oh! I'm still in first place, and if I hold on to my lead, nothing can keep me from winning, not even that crazy dog. Uh-oh. I had to take a shortcut, but I'm right behind you. I should have known you wouldn't play by the rules, but I don't care. You're never going to beat me, Wowzer. Well, now, it looks like it's time for me to arrange for a little detour, uh huh? Bullseye! <laughs> I'm gonna win! It's really great. What? That horse is holding up better than I thought. Hey, come on. Come on. Oh, 
I'm terribly sorry, officer. I can taste those cookies already. Let's run up the hill to Rotten Driver. Turbo Horse is much better than a car when it comes to real cross-country driving. Uh, Wowzer, why don't you help us out? But if I do that, then I might be giving up my chance of winning all those cookies. The rules of good sportsmanship even apply to dogs. And besides, I invented that Turbo Horse you're riding. You can't just leave all of us back here. Says who? I could wrap this race up if I just left them stuck back there. Hey, if come you on, buddy. You gotta help me. Get me out of here, will you? Oh, all right. Oh, thank right. you, Thank you, Wowzer, it's just you and me now. It's a race to the finish, and may the best man win. If I can just get past Officer Whistle, I'll win for sure. should do it. I can kick back thanks to Turbo Horse. I'll catch up with him any minute now. Wowser sure has a big surprise waiting for him. <laughs> hey, this is a bad cave. Holy cow, they're everywhere. and Wowzer's nowhere in sight. I'm going to win. Hiya, Prof. Don't you ever give up. If this don't work, nothing will. <laughs> oh. That's funny, sounds like a train. This train's heading in the wrong direction. I'll never win the race. Get up. There. Huh? It's a tunnel. Oh, boy. Now Wells is really in the dark. <laughs> huh? As long as I'm riding Turbo Horse, I'll bet I can win. All right, let's go and get those cookies. What? <laughs> Must have put the head on the wrong end. I've just about got this race wrapped up. There's the finish line dead ahead. Here I come again. I know you do things backwards, but this is ridiculous. You're not gonna win those cookies. Oh, yes, I am, Wowser, and there's no way you can stop me. Not only are you out of your mind, you're almost out of fuel. There in the stretch, and it looks like it's down to Professor Dickey and a strange dog riding a mechanical horse backwards. Oh, boy, now I've seen everything. No, you don't, Wowzer. And it's the dog by a data with a photo finish. I won, I won! <laughs> Here, Wowzer. Yeah. Oh, it's nice to see you. How would you like to go for a ride on the turbo horse? 
It huh? goes real fast. I bet you like it. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. No, no, no. It's real easy to ride. Now, just listen. All you do is pull up and go. Oh, no! Should have known. When will I ever learn? Hey, look at that. Retro's disappeared already. Way to go. I guess that cat really likes to drive fast. <laughs> <laughs> what my favorite time of day is, Prof. Breakfast. Any time that includes a meal is your favorite time of day. That's true. <laughs> Hot toast! Yum, yum. Mm. Mm. Good. I'll have some of these, too, and some of that. Mm. You're eating an awful lot, even for you, Wowza. You know I've always had a healthy appetite, Professor. Oh. <laughs> Ah, that was a nice appetizer. But I just can't face the day without eating a really good breakfast. Hmm? Wowzer, what are you doing? You're going to eat me out of house and home. It's important to eat a balanced diet with a little something from each and every food group. You don't want me going hungry now, do you? I'm a grown dog, you know. And a one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six. That's half a dozen eggs all sunny side up. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Some cheese and ham and jam and spam and pickles and onions and chocolate sauce. And... Overeating can have a negative effect on your body and your mind, Wowser. That's true. But I'm already crazy and fat, so who cares? Mm. Breakfast is served. A truly delicious spread fit for a canine king. <laughs> now for the next course. That's easy for you to say. Huh. You don't have to restock the refrigerator. I just can't believe how full I am. Well, sir, are you all right? What happened? There's something wrong with the furniture. This chair just collapsed. There's nothing wrong with the furniture, Wowser. That chair just couldn't hold your weight after all those plates full of food. You should have listened when I said you were eating too much. All right already. Don't be such an old I told you so. I'll weigh myself, and if it looks bad enough, I might even go on a diet. Maybe Professor Dengue is right. I have been feeling a little bit heavier lately. Well, let's see what the scale has to say about it. Now I'll just... Uh, huh? Hey! Why is the scale trying to run away? Huh? Hey! Hold still! Dog, got it! Where are you going? Hold still! Come back! Hold it! Wait! Stop! Hey! What's going on? <laughs> Looks like Wowser's spare tire's getting in the way. Slow down, you crazy scale! Oh. <laughs> you were shoving the scale away with your big fat stomach, Wowser. You've gotten so fat you're gonna have to start weighing yourself one part at a time. Mm. Now, stomach on first. All right. 110 pounds. Now, go ahead and put your head on it. Okay. A pound and a half. Your head is empty. No, it isn't, Ratso. Great! Fat and brainless. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'll get you for this, you no good. I'll go rotten Ratso catch Either this window is shrunk, or I really do need to lose a little bit of weight. Come on, Wowzer, keep running. My goodness, look. My Never seen anything like that. This must be Mommy. one of the professor's experiments. Right, the dog. <laughs> Mommy, why is that man riding an elephant? That's not an elephant, it's a fat dog. Morning. What are you stopping for? Everybody's laughing at me. There's got to be a better way than this to lose weight. Besides, I'm tired and it's time for lunch. The reason you got so fat in the first place is because all you ever do is eat and sleep. You have to keep up with your exercise program. It's the only way you'll ever burn off all that flat. I told you it was an elephant. It's a giant bear. You're a great scientist, Professor. Can't you think of an easier way for me to lose weight? This running is too hard. Do stop complaining. You got yourself into this mess. Now let's go. Oh. 
I see your point when you put it that way, Wowzer. There has to be an easier way. Hey, Professor, how come you're pouring all that goop into a spacesuit? Well, this is a new invention of mine, Wowzer. I call it the Slim Suit. I designed it to help you lose weight. I just added the weight loss gel, which makes the suit work. It's perfect for you, Wowser. Once you're in the suit, you turn up the temperature and the gel heats up and makes your muscles vibrate. Your body thinks it's exercising. When actually, you're losing pound after pound without so much as lifting a finger. It's just perfect for me, Prof. This is the lazy dog's way. Oh, Professor huh? Diggy! <laughs> Professor Diggy, there you are. Is it true you have a new invention that can help me lose weight without exercising? Oh, there it is. That's right, Beatrice, and I call my wonderful new invention the Slim Suit. Slim Suit? And all I have to do is sit and watch TV? <laughs> what a wonderful way to lose weight. I was just going to let Wowser try it out. Wowser? But, Professor, don't you think a human being should try it on? Wowser is chubby, but he's a dog. Look who's calling who chubby. Hush up! Good idea, Beatrice. How would you like to try my new Slim Suit? Well, I would like to take off just a few pounds. <laughs> Let's see. I'll just zip you in. Now, if you're ready, Beatrice, let's give the slim suit a try. The suit is a bit uncomfortable, but I'm ready. We'll start off at a gradual loss level. Now, we'll just push the button and start you up. Voila. <laughs> what a strange feeling. <laughs> it kind of tickles. That vibration is shaking off all your excess fat, Beatrice. So without dieting or strenuous exercise, you can lose all the weight you want. This is wonderful. <laughs> Thanks to this wonderful new invention, I'm going to look 17 again in just a matter of hours. I think the professor said that if I turned up the vibration, I could lose weight even faster. Here goes. <laughs> Look this elegant in years. <laughs> if my new slim suit works as well for you as it did for Beatrice, you'll slim down in no time at all. But we'll get results much more quickly by increasing the level of vibration to full power. First, we raise the temperature. It's way too hot. It has to be hot in order to work. Next, we'll turn up the compression and add more vibration. I think I'd rather go back to exercising, Professor. Now you just relax and enjoy yourself, Wowser. I'll be back to check on you in a little while. How am I supposed to relax when I'm just about getting melted to death? Hey, Wowser, what's with the Jumbo Banana outfit? Uh, I'm losing weight, Rattle. What's it look like I'm doing? Looks like it would make a real fun punching bag. I think it's time for my afternoon workout. Stop it, you dumb cat! Nothing like a little exercise. If you don't stop it, you're gonna ruin the professor's invention, and I'm gonna get you for it. Hey! You're supposed to lose weight, huh? This I gotta see. Huh? Maybe it works after all. I do feel slimmer. Come on, let's see what's under the suit. Wow! Ah! Look, this crazy suit really worked. Now I'm as light as a feather. That means I'm light enough to chase you down, Ratso. That's a drag. Hmm? Ah! Oh, oh, good. Hey, instead of a double chin, you got double calves. <laughs> Just because you're skinny doesn't mean you're smart. Now catch me if you can, Wowzer. Come back here. Nina, Nina, Nina. Come here. Stop. <laughs> Don't get away this time. Don't break you, my soul. Huh? Oh. Ha, <laughs> 
This oil ought to do the trick. There you go, Flabfoot. I'll get you for this, red soul. This is the last of it, Wowser. I'm afraid you've eaten everything else in the house. It's okay, Professor. Oh, well, I suppose you wouldn't be my Wowser if you weren't just a little bit on the tubby side. Nope. Great dinner. Now I could use a nice nap just to let the food settle in. Hey, Wowser is just as fat as he was before. My favorite, with a cherry on top. Hey, cut it out, Wowser. I'm not an ice cream cone. Quit it, I said. You're squishing me. Cut it out. Wake up. Cut it out. Stop swatching. those branches for me. Ah, snack time. Wow, what happens to all the food around this house? Boy, I don't believe it. Hmm? Wonder who that is? You know, is anybody home? Oh, it's just Beatrice again. <laughs> huh? What's that? Huh? Wow, who's that for? You, Wowzer. Oh, boy, let me in. <laughs> Why, of course, but you think you could do me a small favor first? Uh-huh. Well, that big tree in the backyard is growing so fast that I just can't keep up with it. I'd really appreciate it if you would climb up there and cut some of those branches down. Me? Climb up a tree? Sorry, no way. I'm scared of heights. All right. If you don't want this scrumptious meat pie, somebody else will. No, please. I... Hmm? Would you know where I could borrow some wings? Boy, this is boring. Gee whiz. Wish there was something around here to keep me entertained, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Wonder if Wowser could use a little help. <laughs> hey, old buddy, you need a hand? No, thanks. I think I'd be better off alone. Hey, Ratzo, uh, you want know, to hold that ladder still for me? Oh, yeah, you got it, pal. How's that? Uh, huh? Looks like you got some faulty equipment. <laughs> you think so, huh, Ratzo? How'd 
I get myself into this mess? You sure you're gonna be all right? Oh, sure, I'm fine. Okay, I'll start over here on this side. Hey, watch it, you're cutting a branch I'm standing on. I'm gonna get you for this rat's old just as soon as I recover from the fall. I'm falling. Oh, my. Now look what you've done. Well, come on, Wowser. Aren't you going to say something? Sorry, B, but I give up. I B, mean, talk about barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like Wowser had quite an exciting morning. But now let's see if we can come up with a more efficient way of trimming that tree. Oh, that would be wonderful, Professor, but I wouldn't want to keep you from your important work. Well, don't worry about that, because I've invented a sensational new trimming device that you can operate yourself. It's so simple mm -hmm. that once I show you how to work mm -hmm. it, you won't have any problems at all. Good. I'm sure that it will work perfectly, and we won't have to ask Bowser to go out on a limb. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> a scream. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be able to handle it. It looks so complicated. Let me explain it to you. Those antennae are attached to a receiving device, which in turn responds to a signal from the transmitter inside this projector gun. It's child's play, actually. You simply aim the gun at whatever you'd like trimmed and pull the trigger. Stand back, and I'll give you a demonstration. Ooh. Watch closely as it goes into action. What an ingenious invention! Well, it appears to be working perfectly now, and as I must be getting back to the laboratory, I'm going to turn this over to you. Oh, well, uh, I've never used anything like this before, Professor. Just be careful, and be sure no one else gets a hold of it. All right. Wow, now that gives me an idea. <laughs> It looks easy enough, but I don't think my aim is very good. And I'm so afraid if I miss, it might cause some sort of problem. And um, perhaps I can be of service. Hmm. Have you had any experience with this kind of device? Yep. Why, I can hit that old bullseye any time. Oh, good. Do you think you'd be able to shoot one of these up to the top of this tree? Sure, no problem. Wait, hold on there a minute. Nobody else is permitted to fool around with that thing. <laughs> Thank you, man. That's all. You give that back to her this minute. Oh, uh, let's find out if this thing is working. Mm. Stop. Mm -hmm. wow, 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 wow. Did somebody get this thing off me before it attacks me? Help, and get this thing off me. What? Look, it's giving Wilder a haircut. Wow, wow, yeah, it wow. seems to be working just fine. That does it. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm going to have to take that thing back. Just took off a bit. Here we go again. Oh boy, it's party time. Thank you, thank you. Are we having fun yet? You bet we are. We're cooking now. <laughs> I think this guy likes to collect newspaper clippings. What the? <laughs> hey, it's summertime, lady. Much too hot to be wearing a raincoat. It's important to keep up with the seasons, you know. Oh, 
fish. Uh, these are for you, darling. Oh. Hey! Oh, I, uh, hey! Oh. Some fun now! Super booby dot shooby dooby dooby dot booby dot Here comes Wowser, and he sure looks mad about something. <laughs> Does that say special delivery? <laughs> Don't try anything. <laughs> All right, hang it over. Just drop by any time. <laughs> wow, I bet there's all kinds of neat things to do with this machine here in the city. Just a trim? Yes, sir, whatever you say. <laughs> there we are. And now just a bit more off the bat. Hmm? Hey, George, what's that strange sound? Huh? What on earth is that? <laughs> what's going on? Hey, George, get this thing away from me. <laughs> this will keep him busy while I escape. Huh? Hmm. I guess they're all used up. Oh. Hmm. All right, Furball. Now you're gonna get it. Hmm? Listen, you assaulting an officer is against the law. I happen to be the chief of police. How am I gonna explain this to the professor when I get home? Uh-oh. Yes, sir, you're absolutely right, Officer Whistle. Say, Professor, what seems to be the problem? Ratso caused quite a commotion. Put me down, you lump! You had it, cat! <laughs> I'm trying to get my invention back and assure them that Ratso will never do such a thing again. Hmm? Yes, yes, of course. From now on, I'll keep it locked up with all my other inventions. You're so right. I couldn't agree more. Absolutely. There's no doubt. You want me to shoot this thing, Professor? That's right. Maybe you'll have better luck with it than any of us have had so far. All right, Professor, stand back, everybody. Here goes nothing. Ooh! Well done. What an extraordinary shot you are, my dear. You hit the target perfectly. Just look at it. Absolutely amazing. Why, I'll say. Look at that, will you? That tree now bears an amazing resemblance to Wowser. Well, if you ask me, that's definitely one way to keep the environment beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Will that be all for you today, Miss Lovely? Uh-huh. Let's see, that's a dollar eighty-nine. There you go, thank you, and come again. Thank you, Sam. Look out below. Did you hear that? Ahoy, clear the runway. That sounds like Wowser. I don't see anyone. Hey, up here. Oh my goodness, Wowser, what is that thing? Oh, it's just a little gadget the professor designed for me to get around in, since we're going to be living up in that floating sky lab for a while. Huh, so that's what's floating around up there. Gee, I hope that doesn't mean that you and the professor have decided to move out of the neighborhood, Wowser. Oh, no, it's just going to be a temporary situation while the professor's up there running some kind of experiment on all the different effects of atmospheric pressure. It must be awful exciting living way up there. Well, actually, it gets pretty boring just floating like a cloud all the time, and I was sort of glad I had to come out and pick up the groceries. Oh, that reminds me, your order's all packed and ready to go. And by the way, could you throw in one more bag of licorice? Sure thing. I would love to go along with you to see the Sky Lab. You think the professor would mind if I came for a visit? I guess it'd be all right, but I can't think straight on an empty stomach. Well, maybe one of these will help. Oh, boy, I can feel my mind beginning to clear already. A bullseye. I'll go tell the professor you'll be coming by for a little visit. Gee, thanks. Here you go. Bye, Linda. Pick you up in an hour. Okay, see you later. There's my pal, that stinker. Somebody ought to wake him up. Hey, Ratso! Now I wonder what all that noise is.
this could be about. That's okay, so. Show yourself, whoever you are. Who's doing all that yelling? Uh -huh. All right, Pat. Let me see your face. Hey, it's me, Walter. Hi, I'm back. Did you have any problems flying the dinghy copter? No, that baby ran real smooth this time. Well, it looks like everything's here all right, except that I seem to remember ordering two of these tomatoes. Well, I let Ratso have one of them. Huh? By the way, Professor, Linda asked me if it would be all right with you if she came up here to visit us a little later on. Oh, she did, did she? Well, I think that's an excellent idea. Well, then, if it's all right with you, can we go ahead and pick her up right after lunch? Why, wait. Let's go pick her up right now. Great. Me and my big mouth. Why, Linda, it's a little too early to be watching for the swallows to be flying overhead. Well, you see, I'm waiting for Wowzer and the Professor to pick me up. Where are they taking you? Right now, they're living in the Professor's Flying Sky Lab, and I'm going up there to visit them. Aren't you afraid? I'm sure that there won't be any danger. Professor Dingy built the Sky Lab himself. And you know, it just might be a very relaxing trip. Do you think I could come along with you? Well, I don't see why not. Then I must go inside and put on something a little more attractive while we still have some time. <laughs> I'll just sneak on board when they get here. <laughs> and then I'm going to teach that dog some new tricks. Attention all hands. Be prepared to stop. Look, destination off the starboard bow. There's Linda, and it looks like Beatrice also decided to come along for the ride. Steady as she goes. All aboard. <laughs> Let her go! Yeah, bon voyage! Hi, Professor. Good morning, ladies. Welcome aboard. Oh, I'm sure the trip will be full of fun and surprises. <laughs> oh, Professor, you're truly the wittiest person I know. Why, thank you. Would you care for a cookie? Well, thank you for offering, Professor, but now I'm on a very strict diet. Cookies can be very beneficial. I've heard that sugar can give you lots of energy. You're referring, of course, to the conversion of certain complex carbohydrates. Well, I happen to think they're great. In either case, I hope you won't be offended if I refrain from having one of those delectable little tidbits today, Professor. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll never keep my girlish figure. Yes, I see. <laughs> Don't anybody worry about a thing, because I've got the perfect solution. <laughs> 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 This soiree needs a little air conditioning. And it's lucky I just happened to bring the right tool along. You know, it feels like there's a draft coming in from somewhere. It's coming from under the table. Please, ladies, calm down. There's nothing to worry about. It's all right. Why, that's just the automatic equalizing vent. It releases pressure so the hot air stays in the balloon. Yeah, nobody wants the hot air to escape. Would you excuse me for just one minute? You've got to get down underneath the cabin and seal that thing up right now. What? You're not climbing under there. You no, know, I really think it's time for us to be going home now, Professor. No rush. I'll be serving lunch just as soon as Wowzer closes the hatch. Boy, he sure doesn't know how to get to me. It just kind of annoys me that I'm always the one who gets stuck having to come out here and fix all these things all the time. Ha <laughs> ha, found the control panel. <laughs> well, here she goes. <laughs> That'll make things more interesting. Golly gee, this view is incredible. Yes, it's absolutely breathtaking, Professor Diggy. Well then, maybe she needs some air. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Professor, the rain sees me coming in through that great big hole up there in the roof. The place is coming unglued. Uh, someone must have left the sunroof open, that's all. Well, then before I get soaked to the skin, somebody better get right up there and shut that thing up right now. Right. Wowzer, would you go up there and shut that thing? Huh? What are you talking about? Are you talking about the sunroof? Oh, yeah, that's right. Of course you are. Oh, always me. It's not 
something, and the hatch on the sunroof must be stuck, that's all. So it's no problem? You can fix it, can't you? Why is it that every time I ask you to do something, the entire situation goes from bad to worse? But it's not me, it's that troublemaker rat's Oh, putting all the blame on that poor cat is about the most despicable thing that I've ever heard in my entire life, Wowser. But I'm telling the truth. <laughs> She's right. We've probably already taken up way too much of your valuable time. No rush. We still have so much to see. How come everybody's so anxious to go home? Can you tell me what the big hurry's all about? Wowzer, be quiet. The propulsion jets are accelerating beyond the safety limit. I've got to reverse all engines at once. Now that's more like it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, now, I guess that's my cue to bail out. Hold it. Not so fast, bud. Oh, please put me down. I'll be so really at you. Come back, big mouth. You got a problem, Crowball? <laughs> Please, you can't land this thing. I want to go home. Yeah, how come we're still flying around? I thought you two might like to enjoy the view for a while longer before we touch down. What happened? You see, the atmospheric pressure must have caused the dilithium molecules to expand inside the balloon, that's all. Uh, may I come aboard with the rest of you? Not a chance. Well, so it was you who caused all this trouble, wasn't it? <laughs> uh-huh. But I promise I won't ever do it again. Listen, Rat, so since you're the one who got us into this mess in the first place, you're gonna tow this raft home. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, pal, let's see it swim. 